Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example dealing with corresponding interior and corresponding exterior angles as relative to lines that are parallel. Well, this is kind of an interesting example, a challenging example. It's kind of like doing a puzzle, doing a crossword puzzle almost, because you need to keep adding information in order to be able to make the decisions. What we're trying to determine here, if the lines A and B are parallel to one another, B and C, D and F, E and G, and A and C. Are those sets of lines parallel to one another based upon what is given so far? And so what's given to us is what's inside the, uh, it, it's colored in red. All right. So first of all, let's go for A and B. That's these two lines right here, A and B. And notice that right away we can see that this right here, and this right here, these two angles are what we call consecutive interior angles. So let's write that down. Consecutive interior angles. And we know that they are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. Of course, provided that the two lines are parallel to one another. So does 114 and 66, do they add up to 180? Let's check. 114 degrees plus 66 degrees and sure enough that does add up to 180 degrees which means that line A and B are parallel to one another. Next, B and C. Are these two lines parallel to one another? Well, let's see here what we can do is first of all I can see that this angle and this angle are what we call consecutive interior angles. And I know that this angle is opposite to this angle, so therefore they're called vertical angles, which means I can figure out the angle for this one. This one is also 66 degrees because those two are what we call vertical angles. So let's write that down. Vertical angles are equal. Or more precisely, in geometry we say vertical angles are congruent. So 66 degrees equals 66 degrees. Those two angles are congruent. All right, now we have our two corresponding interior angles. And we can say that corresponding interior angles are congruent. Therefore, again, we can say that 66 degrees equals 66 degrees. That's these two angles, so therefore we can conclude that B is parallel to C. How about D and F? That's these two right here, this angle and this angle right here. So we can take these two lines, we assume that they're parallel, and that means that I need to come up somehow with alternate, uh, alternate not alternate, but maybe, uh, um, what do we call, corresponding interior exterior, exterior angles. So first of all, I'm going to take these two angles right here and say that this angle here is also 137 degrees. Because, again, we can say that vertical angles are congruent. These two are vertical angles, so we can say that 137 degrees equals 137 degrees. So we can determine that those must be equal. Now, if I add these two angles together, 71 plus 66, that also gives me 137 degrees. And now, based upon having these two lines right here, and having this as being the transversal, line B is the transversal, I can now see that these two are what we call exterior angles, or in this case, they are corresponding exterior angles. And so we can say that corresponding exterior angles are congruent. Which means, in this case, that 137 degrees equals 137 degrees, and then we can conclude from that that lines D and F must be parallel to one another. All right, we're almost there. How about lines E and G? These two lines right here, E and G. E and G. Ah, I have a way to get there. There's so many different ways to get there, but I was looking perhaps, I have these two lines right here. I'm given this angle right here, 66 degrees. I'm given this angle of 114 degrees. Hmm, this is how I can do it. I'm going to make this line a little bit longer. I'm going to draw this a little bit longer this way, right there. So it's out of the way. And so first of all, I can take 
this line right here, this is the transversal. I take these two lines, which we now know B and C. Well, we know that they're parallel. So since they're parallel, I can claim that this angle right here must be 114 degrees because those are what we call corresponding exterior angles. And so corresponding exterior angles, we can say that 114 degrees must equal 114 degrees right there which means that this angle must be 66 degrees and the reason why i can say that that this angle must be 66 degrees because these are what we call supplementary angles and they must add up to 180 degrees so supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees so 66 plus 114 is 180 degrees and now finally what i can say is that this angle right here this angle right here and this angle right here are corresponding exterior angles. Remember, we're working with lines E and G. There's line E, there's line G. This line C now becomes the transversal. And notice that this angle right here, that's an external angle. This one right here is an external angle. These two are corresponding external angles, and therefore they must be congruent. And so corresponding exterior angles are congruent, which means that 66 degrees equals 66 degrees. And therefore, we can claim that lines E and G are indeed parallel to one another. And finally, A and C. All right, A and C. So we have this line right here, this line there parallel. And then we have, of course, all kinds of transversals. We can pick any one of the transversals. But since we only have this information right here, that's an interior angle, and I need a corresponding interior angle right here. So, what I can say here is that this angle right here, this angle, and this angle right here, are what we call corresponding interior angles for lines A and C, with this as being the transversal. We know that they must be equal. And now, how big is this angle right here? Well, we have this angle here, which is 66 degrees, and this angle is what we call the supplementary angle to this. And the two angles, supplementary angles, must add up to 180 degrees. So supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So in this case, I can say that, call it X. Let's call this, this uh, I'll use blue. Let's call this X. So we know that X degrees plus 66 degrees is equal to 180 degrees or x degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 66 degrees, or x degrees equals 114 degrees. So right away, I can see that this here is 114 degrees. Now we can see that this interior angle and this interior angle, they're two corresponding interior angles. They must be equal. So where are we here? Corresponding interior angle. So we see that 114 degrees must equal 114 degrees. Therefore, we can claim that lines A and C must therefore be parallel to one another. And I drop my cap here for my pen. All right, and that's it. Kind of fun after you get the hang of it. It's almost like, like I said, it's like doing a crossword puzzle. You start putting in information and the whole thing begins to make sense. Hopefully, this made it clear of how to deal with exterior and interior angles, especially when it deals with parallel lines and having the transversals, and that is how it's done.